the oil got into the storm water from the underground storage tank and flowed out to the uh, pipe that's under the water here. Cleanup along the Detroit River continued Thursday. The yellow and the white, they're there to make sure that the oil doesn't spread further. That's correct. But the EPA has to make sure that the plant life was not affected. Oh, I just pulled up a lily pad. Is, was this, uh, is this contaminated? So it doesn't look like it. You would see the sheening around it. But most of the contaminated plant life has already been picked up. Oh, and those ducks, they're okay too. In fact, there were no injuries, the water is safe to drink, and there wasn't that much contamination in the Detroit River. It could have been a much, much larger problem. So what happened? Let's go back to 2002, when the Riverside Osteopathic Hospital in Trenton closed down. There were two underground tanks, each containing 15,000 gallons of diesel fuel used for the hospital's backup generator. And I think it was just neglected with 15,000 gallons of diesel left inside. Then on Monday, a resident sees this red sheen in the water. It's red because it's diesel not used for vehicles. Anyway, the EPA comes out, finds the underground tank, plugs the storm sewer, empties out the remaining diesel, and stores it in these two containers. Now they're in the process of cleaning between the tank and the sewer. How much diesel actually got out and into the Detroit River? So I estimate about five gallons. That's, that's not it's this much. That it's not a lot, but it really makes uh, a lot of sheen out there. Why didn't more get out than just five gallons? So I think that it was because of the quick response of the city of Trenton, of you know them notifying EPA, of notifying Eagle, and then working with the property owner to hire these contractors to clean it up. The estimated cleanup cost is about a quarter of a million dollars. Brian Kelly says that the hospital is set to be torn down by the end of the year, which includes removing those tanks permanently. Is somebody trying to find out how the diesel got out of the tank? So that is something that we are looking at because we can't call this done if we think that more oil is going to head to the Detroit River. To be so. continued. In Trenton, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.